Yeah, oh, hello. This is Tom Oboto speaking from National Temple University. Yeah, it's Tom. Can you hear us? Yeah, yeah I can hear you first. Can you identify your name, please? Because I can't really say your name on the list. Oh, oh I'm Tom Oboto. So, if you allow me, I thought it's better for, to let my students to speak for themselves. So, if you allow me, please uh, welcome my students, Mr. Santos here. Okay. So, I can ask the speaker to who else? Some... Mr. Santos. Sunday, right? So basically that's what happens in AC. 
So for the duration of this talk, I will refer to it as AC. And the objective of this study is to investigate two things. One, to establish an effective method on how to conduct AC in our university, which will hopefully help other universities to know uh, the best methods in other countries and other universities as well on how they do their own AC and also to investigate the factors that uh, affect the success of AC. So I would like to briefly summarize our methodology which are divided into four stages. The first one is the data collection. So we research on the different institutes and universities that hold AC, which have journal clubs or Astro Coffee in their own institutes, and then we send an email to them, which contains the survey or the questionnaire. And we discuss a lot for the questions for the survey. And then once we get their responses, we analyze it on stage two, which is analysis. So we also added a question if they wanted to have a follow-up video interview or not. And if they opted to have a video interview, then we do so with them. And then on stage three, implementation or testing, we identify the, the changes that we can incorporate, integrate in our own AC. And then we try, we try those in our own AC. And for the conclusions, together with the data that we have analyzed in stage two and the results of our testing, we conclude our uh, results like the factors and the best method for AC in NTHU. So this is an example of, a, of the questionnaire that we sent to different universities and institutions. So this is just the introduction. We are just discussing what is AC and the confidentiality of the whole survey. And also for the interviews, uh, this is just a snapshot of how the interviews were made. So it's purely online all video, con uh, video interviews and what did we get from the data that we, get, that we got? So just to give you a preview of how, of how diverse the responses were. So we had 18 responses from 16 universities and they came from different parts of the world. And actually from those 16 universities that we uh, that participated in our survey, two of them didn't have any AC activities. They don't have any journal clubs. So we'll discuss later why they do so. And these are some rough statistics that we have. We'll not show all of them, but some of the most important things. So for the demographics of the attendees, uh, most of the ACs in the in the in our responses. Most of them have everyone in the institute as the main attendees of the AC. But some ACs have a mail list. So basically what they're trying to do is that they announce their AC activities, their journal club activities through email. And they invite other people to come. Most of those people come from their university, not only in their own institute. So it's a thing for other universities. Is financial support present? Well, majority of them said yes. So they had financial support from their university or institute. But surprisingly, most of them said that it's not really necessary. Although the money that they get from this financial support, they use it for food and drinks, especially for coffee. That's why it's called Astro Coffee. And for the organizers of these AC activities, it's really diverse. Um, majority are faculties who organize AC, but there are also postdocs and graduate students who organize it, but there are no undergraduates who organize AC, as far as our uh, sample is concerned. The benefits of AC are also diverse. Most of them would like to know the newest, and result, newest results and discoveries in astronomy. Others would like to learn new concepts and in astronomy, how to read journals. But there is this one interesting result that we got here. So actually, uh, you see here that there's one university that said that 
AC serves as their only avenue to learn astronomy. This is special because uh, in this university, they didn't have any uh, astronomy courses. So basically, AC is their only astronomy class. So it's for, uh, for learning uh, the concepts that we usually learn in classes, but AC style. Some of the responses that we got, the uh, majority of the responses said. So the first one is that AC is conducted depending on the purpose it serves. So here's the main point. You need, most of them mentioned that it is very important to know the goal of your AC because that's where the, the format will change. So they want to focus on your own research field so if that's so, then you should just discuss papers in your own research field. If you want to tackle diverse topics, then to, uh, to widen your knowledge in astronomy, then you need to discuss papers in different research fields. And if you want to discuss new concepts in astronomy, then you should keep up with the latest papers in astronomy. But if your goal is just to clarify the basic concepts in astronomy, then you do need to make the AC as difficult as possible. So the, the content and the difficulty of AC depends on what you want to accomplish for your AC. The second response that we got is that AC must not be stressful because it's very important for the students to feel that it's not pressuring, it's not much of a heavy load, when they enter the journal club or astro coffee and as one respondent said in her response she said that the more accessible AC is the more people are likely to participate hence AC must not be stressful another thing is that commitment is important for both the organizer and the participant the organizer is usually the one who's leading the discussion of the papers Usually, it's him who will initiate questions during the discussion. And so, the participants, on the other hand, are expected to also ask questions and to share papers when they are told so. And then, commitment is important for the both of them so that AC will be maintained. The two universities that I mentioned a while ago that do not have AC, the reason why is because of lack of commitment. One of them mentioned that I can read the papers on my own, something like that. And for both of those universities, uh, they don't, no, none of them wants to commit to start an AC. So that's the reason why lack of commitment is one of the major reasons for not having AC or failing to maintain it at all. And lastly, uh, most ACs can discuss diverse topics, meaning uh, most of the people can understand papers from different research fields. And there's a problem when the when the members of the AC are limited to one research group only. So what will happen is that there's a bias on the topics of the paper. So if it's only for one research group, they will just tend to discuss papers in their own research. So they will not discuss papers in other research fields. That's why uh, it's very important to know what you want to accomplish. Hence, we're going back to the first uh, response. After the survey results that we, after getting them, we tried to implement the, some of the changes for around one month. And we tried these particular time slots, and all of them are for one hour duration. And the food is sometimes we would eat lunch before or during or after AC. And the format also is different depending on each week. So I will discuss this later for our discussion. What is box charta? This is very important because this is what we're using. And the announcement, we also announced AC through email and also personal invitation. For the discussion, so what can we infer from our results? 
So this is the main part of our paper. We identified four important factors that affect the success of AC. So this is commitment, environment, and content. And all of them are uh, so all connected by the main factor, objective. So commitment is religion. So it is about the importance of having the organizer and the participants actively participating in AC. So lack of commitment, as what I mentioned, is the main, one of the reasons for having AC as a failure and not uh, starting at all. That's why it's very important to have commitment, to start or maintain an AC. The second one is environment or quenching. So it is very important for the students to feel comfortable while presenting papers. And they should not feel any stress when they are reading papers for AC. Also, it is important to have collegiality, a sense of social gathering. This is because this is what uh, differs AC from usual seminars and colloquiums. Because in colloquium seminars, it's more of a serious, uh, much of a serious setting. Where in an Astro PH, it is more of a social gathering. So people are gathering together and discussing papers in, uh, in a more accessible way. That's why environment is also important for AC. Content is made And it is important to understand the topics that you want to discuss for your AC. So do you want to widen your uh, content? So if you want to, then you need to discuss papers in different research fields. And if not, then you can just focus to your own research field. The platforms of how you present them is also important. And this is also important to know because it can also help students to pick their interest in a certain research field. For example, this student of ours actually presented a paper in our AC about planet X or planet 9. It is a planet in the solar system that is yet to be discovered. And actually, he was very interested about planet 9, and so he joined our group, and eventually he started his research with us about finding planet 9. So that's why content is crucial to identify for starting AC. Last but not the least, the most important factor is objective or mupia. It is very important because the three factors that I discussed first are greatly affected by the objective. What do you want to accomplish? So if you want to diversify your knowledge in astronomy, then the difficulty or the content of your AC would differ. Do you want to help students read papers more effectively? then you need to deduce a um, format wherein all students can discuss papers in a span of like a week or two. And the current format of AC in our university, in NTHU, is uh, actually this semester, Professor Goto is doing the AC as the organizer, and it is conducted as an elective class. So the picture above here is actually the Astro PH last 2017, so we have been doing this for a very long time. But the picture below is the recent, most recent picture of our AC. So as you can see, there are many students now coming. And then people are posting their, uh, the papers that they would like to discuss on our Facebook group. So we have a Facebook group, with that, which I will show later. And we're also using Box Charta. And then for three days every week, we take turns leading the paper because we want the students to learn how to read papers more efficiently. I've been talking about Vox Charta a few times, so I will take this opportunity to explain what is Vox Charta. It's more of like archive, the one I showed a while ago. It's also a preprint server. But in Vox Charta, as you can see here, you can vote. You can vote for the paper that we would like to discuss. So you can choose discuss if you are interested in this paper, not discuss if you're not interested. And once you voted for a paper, it will show here in the discussion agenda. 
So you can discuss, uh, so the papers that you would like to discuss will appear here in the agenda. These are some of the pictures that we, uh, the screenshots of our posts on Facebook. So this is about the first, uh, these are some of the most important discoveries in astronomy for the past few weeks. So we discussed about the supermassive black hole, the first non-accreting supermassive black hole that is discovered just recently, also the fast range burst, and the, the gravitational waves, and supernova. All of these are all joy drives in astronomy, but I just want to show you that in this uh, Facebook group, we are posting papers here that we would like to discuss. And most of the papers that we post here are all uh, latest, are all new and latest discoveries in astronomy. And this is the summary. Before I end my talk, I would like to summarize a few things about our research. So AC or Astro Coffee is a regular activity where participants in the institute can discuss the latest astronomy papers. And we did four things to you know the best method for AC in MTHU and the factors affecting AC, data, ana data collection, analysis, implementation, or testing, and conclusion. And we saw four important factors, objective, commitment, environment, and content. And for the things that we would like to do next, uh, after the semester, so AC for the semester will be, uh, will uh, we will have a survey for the students who attended our AC and we would like to get their feedback on how uh, we implemented our AC. So I guess that's it for the uh, presentation. So thank you very much for listening. Yeah. 